What's up, everybody? This your boy, Eric Reeds, Computer Solutions. So welcome to another episode of No Fluff, No Passes. Well, I put a device on the chopping block and see if it's worthy of your purchase of 2018. Look, I'm a business guy. I use a BlackBerry Key One, right? A lot for business. Uh, this is a device that I've been using off and on for the past year. And so today, guys, I'm putting this device on the No Fluff, No Passes episode. And the reason why is because we got the BlackBerry Key One has been unveiled. And so a lot of people will be looking at the Key One as a device to purchase because of the cost and everything, right? So let me give you my thoughts about the BlackBerry Key One and should you buy this device in 2018. So sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric again with another video. So I got the key one here, and let me give you my thoughts about this device. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the specs. So the key one has a 4.5 inch 1080p display. We got the Snapdragon 625 processor with three or four gigs of RAM. We got 32 gigs of internal storage complemented by SD card support. We got a 12 megapixel camera in the rear, eight megapixel camera on the front. We got USB type C along with a headphone jack on this device. So we hit the specs on the BlackBerry key one. One, right yes these are mid-tier specs especially in 2018 right when you got a lot of devices that has a whole lot more power than this device but there it is so let's talk about the design of the blackberry key one yes this device is elegant very beautiful business like right as a business guy when you pull this phone out yes it's meant for business you got your keyboard here at the bottom you got that nice black rubbery texture at the back right uh, yes this definitely a device that you can roll without a case uh, you do have an elegance and nostalgia with this device that screams blackberry as a business owner you know when you pull this device out it looks good it feels good right uh, but overall the design of the device is very classy very business like so that's a good thing when you're talking about the blackberry key one so let's talk about the performance of the BlackBerry Key One, and that may be a deal breaker to some people. Listen, I love the 600 series processors, but not in this phone. As a business owner, when you're doing heavy multitasking, copy and pasting from one app to the next app, going through my Excel spreadsheets, going through heavy email with about six email clients, I had to actually delete uh, the BlackBerry Hub uh, on this device. The performance on this device is very bad. Uh, a lot of people might leave comments, yes, my phone runs smooth as butter. As a business owner, me, I use the device for heavy use, multitasking from one app to the next, uh, definitely typing the email, going through some heavy lifting, especially if you got heavy attachments. This phone gets bogged down very bad. I believe that the BlackBerry Key One is made for business owners, right? It's made for the business environment. Well, if it's made for the business environment, then it has to have the power to run business stuff, right? A lot of people might say, well, my phone runs smooth. Yes, if you run an a single application on this device, but if you're doing some heavy lifting, some heavy multitasking, doing some typing, some email, taking word and going to from word to email, then from email uh, to attachments, then to all kinds of different things, using VPN services, this device just can't handle it. Now we have, Android P beta is out right now. And this phone is running Android 7.1.1. Unacceptable in 2018. I mean, right now, Android 8 has been out. And this device has not received the new iteration of, of Android. Yes, I have security patches. But at the end of the day, I think this device needs some TLC, needs some bug fixes, needs some uh, ways where you can make this device run a lot smoother. So I think BlackBerry TCL, instead of going with the lower end processors for us business clients, 
they need to think about a higher end processor and maybe putting uh, a higher end battery life. Now, a lot of people might say, well, the reason why they went with the 600 series processors is because of battery life. Listen, to me, I'd rather sacrifice a little battery for power. And I think a lot of people will sacrifice a little battery life for power. So let's talk about the cameras on the BlackBerry Key One. This device has a 12 megapixel camera on the rear, eight megapixel camera on the front. Now, in perfect daylight, perfect lighting, this device gets very good still footage, also very good video footage. But at night, that's when it falls apart. Let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about with the BlackBerry Key One camera. This is the front facing camera of the BlackBerry Key One. Uh, and as you can see, I am in bright daylight here. As you can see, the sun kind of transitioning in my face. So uh, there it is, kind of turn around a little bit and let y'all guys see the front cameras of the BlackBerry Key One. All right, guys, so this is nighttime footage here with the BlackBerry Key One. Uh, I'm shooting this at 1080p, uh, 30 frames per second. Uh, so let's go down and check it out. This is nighttime footage here. Uh, it's very cold out, about 3 a.m. in the morning. And uh, wow, as you can see, the BlackBerry Key One is kind of hunting for focus in there uh, at 1080p, 30 frames per second. So y'all guys can see that. There it is. Wow. As you can see in the daytime, perfect lighting. The cameras work superbly, right? Uh, but at night, it falls apart. Uh, so overall, this camera is kind of hit and miss uh, when it comes down to uh, stills and video footage, especially at night. So overall, if you're in perfect lighting in the daytime, you would get perfect shots. But low light scenarios uh, and dark scenarios, you could forget about it on a BlackBerry Key One. So let's talk about the battery life on a BlackBerry Key One. Listen. 3505 milliamp battery is king supreme. Yes, you could get a day and a half uh, of uses out of the BlackBerry Key One, especially with the 625 processor, right? So when it comes down to battery life, yes, you could get long battery life with this device. So it is king supreme when it comes down to the battery life. I don't have no gripes about the battery life on the Key One. Uh, I think the Key Two will be excellent when it comes down to battery life. You can charge up in the morning and rest assured that you don't have to have a battery charger with you as you go out through your day uh, with the BlackBerry Key One. So thumbs up to the battery life on the BlackBerry Key One. So let's talk about the keyboard on a BlackBerry Key One. Listen, no fluff, no passes. I'm gonna just be real with you here, right? If you are coming from a virtual keyboard to this keyboard, it's like night and day, which is maybe a good thing or a bad thing. Look, I like the keyboard, but it's a love-hate child for this keyboard. Listen, I'm gonna be real with you on this one, right? If you already typing on a virtual keyboard, and you are fast typers on a virtual keyboard, you would not like this keyboard. A lot of people may not like what I'm saying here. This keyboard have three rows of letters. And as you type in, and if you want to go to numbers, you have to long press on Alt to get to numbers. Listen, to me, sometimes that may be a no-go, especially if you're a fast typist. Especially when you want to type out something really fast and you want to go from letters to numbers, letters to numbers. Yes, you could put an on-screen keyboard on here, right? But what's the purpose of using a tactile keyboard where you have to actually put an on-screen keyboard to type numbers and different types of characters? Uh, one of the biggest issues that I have with this device, right, is that when you type in, Right? And all of a sudden you need to get to numbers. You have to long press on something just to go to the numbers. If you want to do capitalization, you have to long press on the up button just to get to the capitalization. To, to me, it bogs down the whole experience. I thought and I believe that this phone should have four rows of, of keys, right? Even if you have to make the screen bigger, make this device bigger, something. And the reason why is because of the number rule. I found myself even when typing with a lot of letters, somewhere in your email, somewhere in your document, somewhere where you type in a long document, you have to put numbers in. And that's one of my biggest issues here with this device. 
So should you buy a BlackBerry Key 1 in 2018, mid-2018 for the $450 price point? I don't know, man. It's one of those things that this device is running Android 7.1.1. Don't know when it's gonna get updated. Uh, this device, to me, has some hit and misses with the keyboard. Uh, the camera's low light is a no-go. Uh, you definitely got good battery life. Uh, you definitely got some things that's good with this device. Right? For $450, I think the 625 processor, three gigs or four gigs of RAM, it doesn't matter. I think that you definitely got to consider that when buying this phone. It is a very good nostalgia device. It's one of those things that you definitely have to consider paying your hard-earned $450 plus dollars for the BlackBerry Key 1, knowing that the BlackBerry Key 2 mid $600 price point with a 626 processor, I don't know. I think that uh, having a BlackBerry is good, but for heavy use, heavy use, you definitely want to think twice about the BlackBerry Key 1. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solutions. Leave your question down below. Let me know what you think about the BlackBerry Key 1 in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.